and we're back to CapCut. Let me show you how you can create side-scrolling text. You may have seen that on news channels and such. So it's this news ticker at the bottom. We're going to use the default layout in this clip. Then I go to text, add text, I use the default and I click on a plus sign. We have a text element that I resize it so that it is as big as my video footage. When you've got the text element active, you can paste the text right here. I'll just use a lorem ipsum placeholder and then I drag this to the bottom right. Let me adjust the font size a little bit. I'll make that 10, it should be fine. You can adjust the style, you choose a different font right here. I want to definitely have a background. Let me make that reddish. And I adjust the height, turn it down, and increase the width a little bit. Now I want to drag this outside of the window to the right. And I need the position and size right here, so make sure the drop down is open. Create your first keyframe, but you need to be at the start of your clip right here. Then left click on this diamond icon. We now have a keyframe. Go to the end. Left click again on the diamond to have a keyframe at the end. And we'll have to find our text. We just get rid of a zero here and we can see it again. Make sure to copy the Y value. In this case, it's minus 783. So simply press Ctrl C. And now I'm at the end of my clip and I drag it outside of the window on the left. And here we want to paste the Y value. So minus 783. Ctrl V for example. We have the same at the start now and at the end. This ensures that the text stays in this vertical position. And if I play it, you can see it scrolls in. Don't worry about this box. If I deselect the text element, it's gone. couple of things to add. Number one is we can still scale it up and down, but we need to scale the text element right here, not the video. Right here in the position and size, you can scale it up and down. So if you want to change the size, use this. Second, we can adjust the speed. So for this text and video size, it's good. But if you want to make it slower or faster, you can simply resize this text element and then reposition the keyframe. So if I make this longer, you can see the end keyframe. I need to drag it to the right and now it's way slower. And if you want to make it faster, you'll just make this clip shorter and adjust the keyframes. One more thing that I wanted to add is there is a character limit in the box where you put the text. So if the text that you want to use exceeds the limit, you'll have to create multiple of these text elements. Let me go back to the position where we had our original right here. And let's assume we have a second one. I'll simply use the same text, but the process is the same when you have different text. All that we have to do is to copy paste Ctrl C, Ctrl V this text element in the timeline. So we have two now. In the set, I use the same text. And for our example, I'll also copy paste the footage. So we have it two times. If I play this now, the first text scrolls out and then we have a little bit of spacing for the second one. We don't want that. To get around that, we'll have to stack them. So position the second one maybe up to this place. Ah, it's still too late, but you can see we're getting there. We just have to find a good position. We play it again. And this was too far. You can see it overlaps with the first one. And that's what you have to do now. It's a little bit tedious to find a good position. But when you've got it, it looks like it would be one ticker. So here you can see that. First one ends, second starts, and they overlap because I've increased the width of the background. And this is what you usually want to have for this side-scrolling text. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.